have detected an anomaly. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Scans have found something. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with this anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it can stop. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. 
Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone could avoid the effects for so long. 